So first off, we have um, a spot that you can use on defense for um, holding um, bedroom and white stairs. So you can hold white stairs in the comfort of the objective. So you want to open this wall here. Open it as much as you want, as much as you want. Like so you can use this one as a rotation as well, but I would recommend using the middle one as a rotation and then reinforcing this one and then this one. But if you want to do this peak, then just use this one as the rotation and reinforce these two. So this peak is, and I don't know if anyone else has found this peak because I've just found it today. So if you have credit to you, but I'm just this is what I found. So I found this one. I'm just gonna say found it. Well then, so you want to open that. And then you want to sit back here, just, just in between this weird thing and weird thing. Oh, what is it? I forgot. And you can hold the bottom of white stairs from this peak, just here. You can see who goes up. Tell anyone that goes. That's tell anyone that that's on white stairs. Um, yeah, you can just see through it. Shoot anyone. And I found this one today. It's a good peak to hold. And then, but then you have to worry about, you know getting peek from these windows because that will be your most problem because you can't get shot from this the angle is too tight from actually to get uh, to actually even if you are peeking it so this is the tightest angle you can go I'd say which is right there which goes back over there so they can't you can't actually be seen when holding this peak from the window so the only place you can be seen is if they get in the objective from white stairs which you already know about or here or if they jump through the window which you'll have teammates protecting but then you, it's kind of hard for teammates to be protecting this from the inside so what I would do is bring a Valkyrie if you're doing that strap and then have uh, her stay have a room all the bottom floors so kitchen and then just all around here to get people off of there and tell you when there's people there and stuff like that so before it goes on anymore, I know it can be hard to roam kitchen because you do get pushed from down there. So I'd say leave kitchen and just roam small tower and no, not small tower, big tower. That'll be good. And then if you want to hold the objective, we'll also know another spot. I'll just show you. So it's here. You for this one, you need two or three shields. I know it's a lot, but it's a really good hold if you have enough. So you put one shield here one shield here and then one shield here then you have three peaks completely protected but then you can get bugged from below but then that's why I would have someone sitting in kitchen or bathroom sorry because it's a small room and then they can tell you when they're there and you can just move or you can have a cap can down there to let you know and you can just move or you can have this open and have a peak down here while you're also holding it so that's it for kids dorms I'd say now I have a spawn peak to show you which is you obviously have to do this on defense so get in here you can destroy this whole window or just destroy them too it doesn't really matter and you just gotta destroy some stuff destroy some of that now you don't have to lean for it, but this is um, front door, obviously. And then you can see back into the spawn. We well, can't see in the spawn, but that is the spawn right there between the two, so you can get lucky sometimes. Okay. Then this is a spawn peak. This is a pixel peak from there, if you want to see. So from here, which is where you'll be able to see them, people normally get behind this tree, look up into the um, bedroom. Actually, you know, they'll do it from closer up, but some could go back if you're like a Cali. And then maybe they'll go behind this tree to get a little drone, you'll be able to see them, just the tip of their head. From here, you can see it, but if you're here, it's really small. And then from where they spawn, which is all the way back here, but like in front and behind this track, sometimes you get lucky to get one here, no, not here, sorry, behind it. You can see them from there, you cannot see it at all. Well, that's right there. So, that's a good peek. And this strap that I showed you earlier is um much better than with a shotgun. Not an impact. If you impact it, it will be way too noticeable. So you can also just shoot it like that to make it extremely less noticeable. And you can just hold it from here, but I wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend just shotgun it. And then just holding it. Shut up.
also you can get nice you have to set this up early in the round because From front door, you can actually get a peek right here. It's about whole held with an A cog, and um, it's hard. To, uh, well, I'll show you. I'll show you how visible you are to them. You will be so they're peeking this. this area. You will be no one ever peeks that fast. They might pre-fire this, and then they'll go like that. Probably drone it. You'll probably get droned out a little bit, but if, if you have you an A cog, zone, you will be detected by hostiles. They're not really going to be aiming this way. No one ever does. And from there you'll barely be seen. You can also um just um punch a few holes in it instead of making it this big thing, but this is also a nice place to hold. And and what I forgot to talk about in the video was um basically um I'll tell you my controls, setup and my control um configuration, which is much different than normal. So instead of leaning with L3, R3, it's going to be way different. The run runs different, grenades different, everything's different. But, because I did some research, but and it will 100%, if you want to know it, 100% and you get used to the buttons, it will 100%. I guarantee this to you, I bet my life on it. It will make you better from these controls. So yeah, if you want me to release that video, my settings, all my settings, and um, my control layout, just tell me and I'll do it.